Hey everyone, welcome back to Denise Dives In. Today's video is going to be how I'm going to disperse what we got back for taxes as well as a bonus that we just received from work. Most of this is bonus money. I try to make it so that we don't get um, much taxes back. I'd rather get it throughout the year and that's just how it works for me. Um, so most of this is a work bonus. Quick Trip is very good to their employees. That's what they care about. They care about us being happy. So if they're doing really well, they we reap the benefits. So we did get a bonus in January and then we also will be getting our taxes back. So total for that, I have this at $4,206. And I chose to do this video just because I think that being very transparent with everything else, I have to kind of be transparent with this just so you guys know oh, hey, where did she get that from kind of thing. Like you'll see here that um, me and Alex have decided to get married. So I put um, the money that I'm spending towards the ring in this. So if otherwise, like you'd be like, hey, well, where did you get the money for that kind of thing? So I like to be transparent. I like to show you exactly what I'm doing with our money so that it just doesn't, it all makes sense. So let's just start. First of all, we have some sinking funds that I wanted to put a little extra money in. Not a lot, um, I just did want us to fund them just a little bit just because uh, of that vacation I was talking about. So I'm gonna do a whole video on the budget for that, but my mom, dad, me, Alex, and Dominic are gonna go to San Diego around the 4th of July to see fireworks and stuff like that next to the beach. The um, place required a $175 deposit. So I just added to that one. I added to a couple other ones. I did add some money to all of the sinking funds and it was just a total of $300. Added 300 from tax return. I added 80 to gifts. I put two payments to the events and vacations. So that one started at 180 and I'm gonna take 165 out of it. I added an extra $30 to Dominic Miscellaneous just because it's Dominic and he needs stuff. And then I added an extra 50 for car maintenance as well. And then we have a washing machine. My washing machine has been on the fritz for a very long time and I have to babysit it. I have to put the little agitator. I know one of these days it's just gonna not work. So we're just gonna go get a new washing machine. I liked one that was, I like the old school ones. I like the ones with the agitators. I know that they're not as energy efficient, but I was gonna like possibly try to find one that was energy efficient. So I'm just giving myself a $600 budget and that's with hopefully taking the old machine away and we'll see what we can do. Hopefully that's plenty of money to get a new washing machine, but I did wanna put that in there. We're also going to pay off Alex's cell phone. So we're just gonna put Alex's phone. This is one of the debts that I had for this year. So we are, comp Alex's phones, that's cool. I'm just gonna cross it out. Um, and that one I just looked at, the price to pay it off is 554. And that will be paid off it'll make our bill go down a lot, um, like 40 bucks I think, because I have insurance on his phone, I'm probably gonna t remove that since now we have the phone paid off. Now we can just start like a phone budget instead of putting $9 or $13 or whatever it is for the insurance for his phone. Instead of doing that every single month, I'd rather put money aside for a new phone possibly in the future. I haven't done that yet, I haven't started those yet because he just got his phone recently and I st have no problems with my phone. It was recently replaced out because there was a recall on it. So I would say my phone's pretty pretty good. Maybe next year I'll start doing that, I'm not sure. Or maybe like in the middle of the summer I can just start a phone fund instead of putting money towards insurance. So I removed that as well. And then to pay off the vacation. So we're going to San Diego in July for the fireworks and everything. And we had to put 165 down. That was what you saw previously about me taking money out of the vacation fund. Uh, the rest of the lodgings is going to be $752. So we're just gonna put $752. Um, 
$752 aside for that. And I'm gonna do a whole vacation budget for that coming soon. And that will just be paid for. So our room is paid for now. And that will be nice that we can just put money aside for possibly a vacation uh, in November-ish. Uh, we kind of have an idea of what we wanna do, but it's not set in stone. But now we can just put money towards that for, um, uh, some money we'll still need for this vacation, but I think that it will be nice to save for the other vacation that we were talking about, but that's to come. So the next thing is a ring. And I have been married and divorced. I had the wedding ring from the last marriage and I wanted to use the diamond out of it. So I went and picked out a new um, setting, I guess, for it. And it's gonna go with the ring that was on this hand as like a wedding band. It was a wedding band. I just used it as like a, kind of like a promise ring kind of thing. And so we're gonna get married in June. Um, that's when our anniversary is. I thought it would be nice to have our anniversary be the same as our like dating anniversary. So it'll be four years that we've been dating in June. And that's when we'll get married. And the setting for a new ring for my diamond was $500. So we're just gonna put ring, I guess. $500. Cause like to me, I don't wanna be like, oh, well, hey, you have this new ring, where'd you get that from? And you never see where the money came from for that, you know? So I'd rather just be honest and open and show you like, yep, $500 of that went to a new ring uh, setting for me and we're just gonna take the diamond out of the old ring and put it in there and then I will show it to you guys as soon as I get it um, I think that nope we have one more thing so we're going to put some money towards debt we already paid off this debt and then we're gonna also put to the car $1,500 So that basically closes out our plan. Um, we still want to make sure that we're budgeting every dollar and putting a purpose for everything. If you just have like extra money sitting in your account, it just, I just spend it. Like that's exactly what happens. I just spend it, it goes away and I don't know where it went. And that's exactly what happened with our last bonus check in April of last year. We got a tax, uh, reform check basically I don't know where that went it's gone I think this is a good plan we're putting over half towards debt and we're getting something that we need and a few things that we want and I think that doing things that way I know that you should be gazelle like intense but now that we have paid off unsecured debt I feel a little bit more comfortable doing things that are more needs just to keep us motivated just because if you constantly are putting every single penny towards debt and not getting any benefit besides paying off debt I think that it just unmotivates you and you'll want to quit and I think doing some nice things for yourself and for your for, not for just yourself, but for your family, for everybody. I think that's a good way to look at it. Um, and I think that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.